Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Second and ten. And he finds his target. It's Marquise Goodwin. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. Garoppolo on first down. He sets to fire deep. It's caught at the ten. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Marquise Goodwin, 45 yards. And the 49ers are back within a score. Gold able to tack on the extra point, And that'll make our score 14-7. Pinion now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense off balance. They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. In this defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On first and 10, gone. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. But while we have a second here, how about we get bold and make a couple Super Bowl predictions? Hey, why not? Let's go ahead and put ourselves on the spot. Just more fodder for the angry people. What do you think? Who's going to win it? Who's going to be the MVP? Well, my prediction for this one is the New England Patriots win the football game. They win it 32 to 30. The MVP, the McCourty twins, Jason and Devin. They both get two interceptions apiece, and instead of splitting the trophy, they wrestle for it right there in the 50-yard line post game. because you know sibling rivalries, one always wants the upper hand. Okay, that's bold. I'll go Rams on a Greg Zerline 44-yarder from the right hash as time expires. 44, MVP that's Todd, MVP Todd Gurley, two touchdowns, one catching, one rushing. I like it. There you, you, don't go. Like, you don't like the McCourty thing, though, do No, you? I do like that. <laughs> if that happens, you're Nostradamus. There you go. So on the heels of the run by Todd Gurley, another first and ten. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's the Rams out in front here. They've got control of the football as well as we get set for the fourth quarter. Here comes a 20th carry for Gurley. 
And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. That good for 19 and a first down. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. And now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stay in top quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Todd Gurley, 14 yards, and the Rams add on to their lead. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. Zerline connects on the extra point, and it's now 21-7. Zerline out now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The 49ers offense making its way back out there. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Black 80! 180! Throwing on first is Garoppolo. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. try again on second down. He's got his man on the crossing route. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. That's going to leave him with just one remaining 
here in this fourth quarter. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. 21-21. They'll toss it to Breda. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Mark Barron, and his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. The interception woes, they just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran a wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It can be so many different things. Bottom line, though, it comes back to the guy throwing them. Well, he may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Super one, super one. They go play action here on first down. He'll buy some time right. Right side complete. That's Woods. That goes for a gain of 31. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. On first down, it's Gurley. Sharp move, but can't find much space. Drop just inside the 20. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And a little bit of space there takes it inside the five to the three. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. They'll try the air now with gone. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. So third and goal, and the 49er faithful making some noise for their defense. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. So third and goal, and the 49er faithful making some noise for their defense. 14, 14. Maybe the turning point they need. Good positioning, and it's picked off. Two-score game here in the fourth, and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you would think maybe you're just sitting on it and trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. And that should do it. Picked off at the 24. And his guys are going to take over at... 